Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and I'm here today to give you a basic sizing guide for bangle bracelets. Now we get this question a lot. How do I how do I know what size my bangle is, or how do how do I you know figure it out from your measurements on the site? Well, I'm going to explain all that to you in this video. So for I'm going to start right here. We have two different mandrels that I like to use when sizing for bracelets, and I brought this one out. This is ours from the design space, so please excuse the the markings but we've actually gone ahead and measured each section so that when we slide a bracelet on, we know what that size is. Now this is an oval, um, you can see on this one, and then I also do have a round one here as well. And if you were interested in trying to mark your mandrel permanently, you would just take a measuring tape and find what you'd want it to measure. Let's say I'm looking for a six inch bracelet. So I just kind of find my six inches here slide it on top and sort of see when it naturally catches and it's about right there so that's you can see that my zero and my six line up right perfectly so i would just take a little marker and kind of mark inside there and that way i'll always know that when i go to put something on there it's going to land at my six inches so that's just a good way to do it if you wanted to mark it some people don't like to mark it but i will say that we've found a little tip here and I don't know if you can see this quite in the video, but we actually have a piece of scotch tape <laughs> because we marked them and then they started to rub off. So we put a piece of scotch tape there, wrote it, and then put another piece of tape on top of it to make sure that our marks stay where we want them to be. Now, if you don't have a mandrel at home, you can actually use various household items. However, we don't recommend using anything that could shatter or chip, especially if you're doing any type of wire wrapping at home. So I'm gonna move on now to looking at a couple of the bangles that we sell. Now these are the Nun Design channel bangles. I have our largest one here and our small one here. And this is the Daphne bracelet and we have full instructions on how to do this at Beta Halik. And I just wanna show you a couple measurements. So on our site, you'll notice that we tell you that this is two and three quarters inch diameter. As you can see right there, it's measuring from the two outside points. Now, this is what we call an eight inch bangle because it fits over an eight inch wrist, just like that. Now, I'm gonna measure on the outside here, and you're actually going to see that it's nine inches. But for the inner diameter, I'm going to measure eight inches here on my tape, and you're going to see how eight inches is actually the inner diameter. So it's actually about the difference of an entire inch between the inner diameter and the outer diameter. Now, most often when you're measuring your wrist, you need it to fit on the inner diameter. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to measure your wrist. And it's just, so you saw me put the bangle on and you kind of put it on like that. That's sort of like the position that your hand takes on when you put a bangle on. So just go ahead and make that. And then you're gonna take the tape and sort of just wrap it around and you're gonna find the biggest part of your hand, and mine is about eight inches. So here's my eight inch bangle, and you'll notice that you know it, it's a little snug going on, but I always say if it's snug going on, it won't fall off. So another good thing to use, and this is why I brought out the wide channel bangle, is if you do want to purchase one of the channel bangles and don't want to use it for a project, you can actually do wire wrapping around this and then slip it off. Uh, just be careful of the channel here. But again, just to show you, measuring the inside of the channel will give you about eight and a half inches. So if you need a bangle that's eight and a half, this is a good form to use if you wanted to do that. Now this one was nine uh, when I measured around it because it has the clay on it. So that did add a little bit of width to the bangle. So there you go. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And we are happy to answer questions, especially because we know this can be a really tricky topic. So you'll find all of these supplies and more at bidahalik.com.